Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to hopefully resolve if Roblox keeps crashing on your Windows computer. In the typical error message would say that an unexpected error occurred and Roblox needs to quit. We're sorry. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump in into it. First thing I recommend doing would be to update your Windows computer. So if there's any updates, I'd recommend going ahead and installing them. If you have a graphics card on your computer, so if it's like a NVIDIA or AMD or even Intel graphics, go onto their website and download the latest software for your computer. Usually they have an auto detect tool, so if you just Google whatever your drivers are, so if it's NVIDIA driver download, you just would search for that, and then NVIDIA should have a web page that should automatically be able to detect the best software for your system, and then you just would walk through the automated process, all the major card manufacturers have this feature. So first thing I'd recommend doing would be that, or I guess that'd be the second thing. Uh, something else I'd also recommend doing would be to run Roblox as an administrator. So what I mean by that, if you were to open up, let's say Google Chrome, you'd right click on the search result and then you would select run as administrator and see if that resolved the problem as well. If you're using a proxy server, I would consider disabling that and allowing Windows just to automatically detect your network settings. So that's a further thing I would recommend taking a look at. And one final thing as well, if you open up search menu, type in Windows Defender Firewall, best result, should come back with Windows Defender Firewall. Go ahead and open that up. Select Allow an App or Feature through Windows Defender Firewall. And then you would select Change Settings and make sure Roblox was set to Private and Public and that there were a little checkbox next to both of them. So pretty straightforward process on that, guys. Do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.